Hi. I wanted to offer some support and gratitude to healthcare workers. My name is Rachel Allen. I do a lot of work around resiliency and secondary trauma and compassion fatigue. And recognizing the intensity of the times that we're in right now, I just wanted to be able to share something short with you with some direction and guidance for support if you are in need of it. Uh, thinking of the four domains of resilience, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And really being intentional around prioritizing what you need to be well during these times, whether that's making sure you get outside, uh, get a good night's sleep, making sure you're hydrated, as well as spending time maybe in meditation or prayer or whatever, you need to be close to that which is fulfills and nourishes your spirit. Uh, so what I wanted to share with you are a couple shift and reset practices that maybe you could use throughout your day and other times that are you're in transition, whether you're heading home or coming in and out of work. And hopefully these are things that can help you be sustainable during these times. So the first one I'll share with you is a three breath practice, recognizing that you might be doing this behind a mask and it might feel a little different. But seeing if you can really be present to your breath and just invite yourself to be present to three breaths. That's all you have to ask of yourself is to be present to three inhales and inhalations and exhalations. So we can do that here now if you like, and I'm going to close my eyes. You can close your eyes if you like, or you can keep them open. And again, this can be used anytime, recognizing that doing this in a mask would feel different, but bringing a little bit more breath in, just slowing the breath down and fully releasing it. And the next breath arises, bringing a little bit more air in and releasing. And the next breath, bringing a little bit more air in, inviting expansion and releasing. And just inviting that awareness of the impact of that practice if that was a, if you were able to shift and reorient yourself at all just from doing the three breaths you might need to take more than three depending on what's happening and if you have the time to do that and another one i'm going to offer and i'm going to then i'm going to uh, offer a meditation and some music uh, is this would be when you are able to safely uh, use your hands obviously that might not be in the work environment right now but just placing a hand on your heart and another hand over top, just this act alone of witnessing your own heartbeat, your own breath in your body. Again, you can add the breath here as well, breathing in and out. And just feeling the beat of your own heart, the rise and fall of your own breath. You can let a hand rest on your heart, bring another one to the top of your head, making sure your spine is lengthening up, just applying just a little gentle pressure. And sometimes when I do this, my body wants to slowly rock. If that shows up for you, you're welcome to go with it. Then placing a hand on your forehead and one behind your head, just inviting a little gentle compression while you're maintaining a nice full deep breath. And then while you have a hand on your forehead, bringing another hand to the small of your back, if that's available to you, and applying a little gentle pressure. Breathing in and out. Letting your hand come back to your heart and to your belly. Breathing in and out. Sometimes giving yourself compressions on your arms if you're feeling really overwhelmed, that can be helpful to land you back in your body, rubbing your hands on your legs slowly. So that might not be something you can do in the work environment with having to uh, be in precaution mode, but finding ways to, to nurture yourself, to come back into your body and you know find a way to be your own refuge during these times. So I'd like to offer just again, wanting to show enormous gratitude for your service right now. 
and to offer support. So if, if you're able to at this time, or you can come back to this later, uh, I'm going to offer a meditation and some music again with the hopes that it can be of comfort and support. Um, our community shows up for one another. And so wanting to show up for you all during this really challenging time. And so if you are able to sit down and perhaps find somewhere to focus your gaze that has a neutral or positive association, or you can close your eyes and just landing in your body. You can come back to the breath. You can bring your hands to any of those positions. I often have a hand on my heart and a hand on my belly when I'm overwhelmed. So you're welcome to do that if that feels supportive, or you can let your hands just rest anywhere in your lap. And here, just in this space where you are showing up to serve in whatever capacity you are serving in healthcare right now and, and everyone's participation, whether you're directly with patients or you're in another capacity is crucial. And so being able to honor yourself and offer yourself a blessing. And so if you like, you can imagine perhaps even just seeing yourself in the mirror and offering yourself a blessing. May I be well in my mind and in my body. May I live free and safe from harm. May I have peace. And then inviting your awareness, inviting yourself into the awareness of seeing your community surrounding you in support and maybe visualizing people that you know that you haven't been able to see, but having this awareness that there are people that have your back. There are people that have enormous gratitude for your service, which has been a really long time. There's been a, you have been doing this for a really long time in terms of COVID time. So really let, letting yourself, even with your back of your body, let yourself lean into the support, let yourself lean in and feel the people that have your back and your community and just receive, as we say this blessing to you, may you be well in your mind and in your body. May you live free and safe from harm. And may you have peace. So just allow yourself to be held and supported. Allow yourself to receive gratitude and blessing. Just notice what that feels like, where, you've, or where it lands in your body. And then extending that out from yourself to your coworkers, to the people in your respective departments, all of those that you're connected with, to the patients and their families. And offering this blessing to all. May all be well in their mind and in their body. May all live free and safe from harm. May all have peace. So seeing the connection and the support and the love, allowing yourself to be held in that space. And if you like, you can remain in that space while I play some music for you. And just allow yourself to be in that, held in that space of gratitude. Be
So once again, in gratitude for your service and wanting to show support. I hope that you found this helpful. There's also some links uh, on the information in the YouTube video that hopefully you can use and find a way to really build your resiliency and support and nurture yourself. Thank you.